All right, Halloween is just days away, but there are some important things parents should keep in mind before the kids head out to trick or treat. So Dr. Jay Stutz is an emergency department doctor at multiple hospitals throughout the state. He's here to share his top tips for Halloween safety this year to keep everyone safe and out of the emergency department because nobody wants to end up in the ER on Halloween, right? No, they don't. <laughs> Nobody exactly. does. It's, it's, it's great. You have kids yourself. You've been there. You've done I do. it. Yep. And Are they first, still trick-or-treating? Uh, yeah, well. Uh, that's a good question. I think they'll go out this year. Yeah. Yeah, last year, yes. They okay. did go out. Yep. Very good. And we used to dress up as bums. You know. That's, it makes it easy. And, and with a pillowcase <laughs> yeah. and we put some right. chalk, chalk, charcoal on our face. But there are safety precautions that we mm -hmm. should be taking out there. First is parents, obviously, if the younger the kids are, certainly the, you want to be with your kids. Absolutely. So it's key to keep um, kids together and stay in a group. Uh, obviously, it depends a little bit on the kid's age, but you know, any kid younger than the age of 12 should probably be with a parent. Okay, um, that's a good and, guideline. Yeah, and um, you know, make sure that kids kids want to run around and um, they're excited and they're pretty hopped up on sugar. So yep. <laughs> just make sure that they stay with parents um, uh, is a big one. Um, Road safety is huge. Um, it's one of the highest um, accident rates uh, in, in over the year. Uh, and um, kids uh, are usually dressed in dark colors. It's right, late. Exactly. And sometimes they're, you know, in neighborhoods they don't know and they're running, you know, between cars and they're hard to see. So um, not only should drivers obviously be careful about being on the phones, but kids too, um, if they're looking at their phones and they're distracted, may not know. Yeah. Um, that's that's yeah. a good piece of advice. Plus, we're going to throw in a little bit of rain into the forecast, unfortunately. So the roads are going to be slick. Mm -hmm. you got to be careful. I know. It like, makes you know, visibility worse, It too. does. It makes visibility worse. So you really got to be cautious and concentrate on your driving. And yeah. for kids who are maybe, like, closer to your children's age, uh, group up, right? Like, stay with stay with their friends. Absolutely. Stay with their friends. Um, stay with responsible friends. Send your kids out with, with kids that you uh, trust. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I, I said, you know, this was a true story, third grade. I was dressed up as a girl. What else is new? And uh, I got knocked right off my pumps. They took me. They, the kids. They, they I was by myself. Mm -hmm. I went. I said, I'm just going to do one last house by myself. I separated from the pack. And these two kids, I'll never forget That's them. That's terrible. They, they knocked me down. They took mm -hmm. my candy, and it was, it was a really horrible experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I don't want. You don't want that happening. So stay with the groups. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but you know, you've got the teal pumpkin here. Food safety is obviously an issue. We've mm -hmm. obviously we've been talking a lot about um, in the news in general. We've been talking about candy that's laced with drugs, and that's a whole other issue. But uh, food allergies are a real problem for a lot of kids and families, especially when you're going to people's houses you don't know, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, so the teal pumpkin project is a great project. Um, if you see a house with the teal pumpkin on it, it's a house that has um, food alternatives, mm -hmm. candy alternatives, like cash. I guess it could be cash. I mean, if you're lucky, I mean, that's a silver dollar. Yeah. Or like um, fruit, right? Like people can fruit out like apples and stuff, right? So, um, a lot of it's non-food alternatives. Okay. So things so like, like, yeah, uh, pencils or, and prizes mm -hmm. and things games. like that. Yeah, spider rings or bubbles Legos, or yeah, yeah, yeah like Legos, that, that yeah. kind of thing. All right, so. so let's just go, you know, only visit well-lit homes. Good indicator of... Uh, uh, or if people expect children to reduce risk, fall risk. But well-lit homes is another thing. If the, the house is dark, they don't want you coming there in the first place. Right, that right. means there's nothing available. There's don't no, ring the doorbell. Exactly. No ding-dong dash. Is that still a thing? But um, I want to go back to the teal pumpkin because you brought an EpiPen. Because just in case, yeah. there, is, there are food allergies. You want to make sure that you're using it safely, right? Yes. Um, so, you know... Uh, the teal pumpkin is to avoid uh, allergies and allergic reactions, mm -hmm. and some some children just you know can't uh, enjoy candy for other reasons, whether right. it's diabetes or mm -hmm. celiac disease. Um, but uh, if a child is having an anaphylactic reaction, um, check to see if they have an EpiPen, or okay. you know if there's a, someone around who has an EpiPen, and you end up being the person who has to use it. Um, first, I would say just relax. Um, these are designed to be used in emergent situations. Yep. Um, you just need to take the safety seal off the back yep. and all you need to do is hold it in your hand like this you just jam it right jam it right into this meaty area of yep. you know of your quad here yep. Yep. and just wait for 10 seconds okay and it'll seconds. tell you right it'll basically will it indicate that it's mm -hmm. all that, set yeah that click that you hear yep. uh, means that the that the needle is injected and the okay. medication's okay. been given Fantastic. Perfect. well we can't thank you enough for your time thank Good you to see you and we'll yeah. see you at many hospitals throughout the state Yes. Because that's what I learned. You go to many hospitals, <laughs> not just one.